quick look at the enduro car we're building here. Uh, we've nick nicknamed this car Crusher. It's a 99 tub that we're going to fit with uh, the 0105 uh, BVT motor. And uh, this is the engine bay we're putting together. It's a depowered uh, rack there. And we've got the Zeta Club Sport coilovers. Those will eventually get billet mounts, but for setup, we've got the OEM MB mounts here. ABS and two channel or three channel ABS from an MB. Um, you can see we've got some custom lines here because we're uh, running a prop valve um, in there. This is going to have a stepper motor on it so we can control it from the cockpit um, electronically. This is a one inch Willwood master cylinder. It gives a little bit better brake feel, more solid pedal. Uh, it's just the standard NB booster. Um, which just looks like it's going to work just fine for us. This custom wiring harness going together for the uh, VVT motor. Um, you can see the engine compartment's pretty simple here. There's not a lot of wires. This is for the uh, for the lights uh, that we're going to be putting together. Um, actually, there'll be some Deutsch connectors. There's a separate harness coming out here for the lights. The LED lights sit up in the front here. We're going to have some LED lights here that are very very powerful. Um, one of the lights here will be about uh, three times as powerful as all of the factory lights and we're going to have four of these LED setups so they're going to be very very bright. Uh, what else is unique here? Um, it will have wipers. We probably won't use the wipers ever. Um, this, this has a Lexan windshield uh, with what's called a super coat on it and then we run Rain-X over that and uh, basically in the rain it doesn't need wipers. The water just shoots right off of it. Um, and then on the inside is an anti-fog coating. Um, this is the OEM heater. We've pulled the entire box out of there because we don't need it. Really all we need is this. We're going to build our own little box here and uh, run uh, some of the OEM vents up here. So it's just going to be a defroster. We're not actually going to have a heater in the car. Um, this is the OEM dash bar. It's actually a really light piece. Um, once it's all cut down like this, it's, it's about six pounds. So we run the OEM uh, steering bracket here. It's all basically simplified here. This clears my knees so I'm a tall guy. And um, this is the dash panel we made for it. That's the race pack smart wire um, that's used instead of a, uh, this has, the car has no relays or fuses. Everything runs through the smart wire. We basically plug a USB cable and plug it into a laptop and program what we want, um, what voltages or amperages we want uh, things to trip at. And we can program a lot of uh, power on and off type functions through there. So every, the car runs through there. There's our master power. That's gonna sit right in the middle here per the new uh, SCCA rules. It's our battery box. It's the smallest battery box I can find. The, the battery we're putting this is actually a little tiny LifePo battery. It's about that big and weighs about two pounds, but we found they're quite a bit more durable when the charge gets um, under or over its rated amount. Um, the little uh, absorbent glass ba mat batteries aren't very durable, so we're using one of these little Shorei batteries. This weighs about two pounds. It's very light, but it uh, tolerates a lot more abuse than an AGM battery. Plus, it's a lot lighter. So that little battery will sit down underneath that box there. And the ECU, which is right here, some Mega Squirt 3, custom-built Mega Squirt 3 that'll run our VVT and everything will run there. And then our, uh, our data logger will sit underneath there. And then, of course, we'll have the IQ3 dash here, the RacePack IQ3 dash. And they'll all be connected. The uh, the MS3 under here will uh, talk to the uh, the IQ3 dash through the smart wire, and uh, we'll be able to data log everything, include all the voltages in the car. Those are the connectors there you see hanging over for the uh, for the IQ3. And uh, so it gets rid of some battery cable run. There's some heavy battery cable right there, but we're going to run the batteries in the back. What else have we got done to it? Um, so next, this is a cage done by TC Designs in Milpitas, California. It's a beautiful cage, custom built for us. Some extra tabs here that are legal in NASA this year. They allow uh, a few extra attachment points, so we chose to put them on the driver's side to make this car, this side of the car, a little, a little beefier and safer. Um, what else we got here? Um, it's an, well, it's, it's in there now. It's an OS Geekin. Uh, differential. It's a little bit slightly different tuning than the stock. It's a 3.9 differential, so we're not running a low gear. We're actually running a pretty high gear to improve the fuel economy. As you can see, the car has the ABS uh, half shafts there and the Zetas. 
You can see this, the tub here is all seam welded. I don't know if this camera is picking that up there. There's, you can see the seam welds there. The entire tub, the, every single seam on this tub is seam welded. You can see some of that there. And of course the energy suspension bushings. Uh, what else? Uh, that disc is going to have a temp sender in it that will go up to the data logging system. The uh, transmission will also have a temp sender. Um, we're well, going to have a, a little laser setup that will shine on the tires here and show us the temperatures of the tires. Um, it's a real simple setup actually. It's a, the laser setup. It's really inexpensive and simple and that will run through the, the data logger. Um, we're not going to have ride height sensors on this car. Um, we may eventually do it, but for the time being we're not going to have that. This will have what's called an LBDT, uh, basically a position sensor mounted to the rack here and we'll uh, measure the steering rack. Um, so we can uh, basically data log the steering wheel position. Um, that and a brake line pressure sensor, which will go, uh, actually I'm not sure, I think that's going to be going over here somewhere. We're going to put it, have a brake line pressure sensor and of course TPS, so we'll be able to, you know, data log the driver metrics. So that's the current state of this car. There's a lot more work to be done on it, but we hope to have this car running in uh, less than a month actually. So we're hustling now. The engine is just about done and that is where we are on Crusher right now.